Oh, man. Nice. Just remember me when you come into your kingdom. Hey, hi, everybody. Um, Susan's on the camera, so she is here. Say hi. Susan. Hi. <laughs> and uh, we just came from church. It's uh, Father's Day. And the reason I'm doing this video, and it's going to be several weeks after Father's Day that you see it. But I did want to show you what I'm doing. My folks are coming over. I called my dad up earlier in the week and I said, hey, come on down for Father's Day. Mike and Sharon are out of town. Um, and uh, it's just me, the only child that actually loves my father, obviously. <laughs> and um, I said, what do you want for dinner? And he said, I would love a good old fashioned, like your great grandmother made kind of, um, uh, pot roast uh you know the carrots the onions the potatoes the whole thing in the roast and i said absolutely we'll get that going so i have that in the oven it's finishing up it just is beautiful i got myself a nice big ch uh, chuck roast and seasoned it cooked it um oh it's great so you're cooking your own father's day i'm meal. cooking my own father's father. day meal yes i father. am for my father i'm just yes. a, a slave that's all and <laughs> i it's just it's my joy um, one of the other things that I'm doing though, we were out uh, with uh, Mike and Sharon and some friends. Um, Mike is a, your brother. Mike is my brother, yeah, at a restaurant about two weeks ago. And uh, it's it's on the water up in uh, Fort Pierce and we just had a great time. But uh, I forget even get what I ate for the meal. I really don't remember, but I do, oh, it was some skewered uh, shrimp and all that, it's all right. And, I mean, it was good. But what I ordered as a side was, and I had never had it before, was a Caribbean uh, corn on the cob. And I thought, I want to make this. It was so good. So I'm making it for my dad when he comes down. And basically, I take a corn on the cob. You can boil them. You could uh, put them on the grill. I don't have a grill. Or you can even cook them in the oven, which I'm going to do. Take my oven to about 350. And what you do is you take your knife and you slit around, this is how they did it, so I thought, oh, let's do it. You slit around about two inches from the bottom and uh, with your knife, and then take and heat, peel all the husk off, take your corn on the cob, and stick it in um, tin foil, and, and bake it in the oven. I've got five of them right here that I'm going to put in in just a second. But I, it also involves this little recipe that I'm ha hacking. It involves uh, taking an aioli that you make yourself uh, and, and spreading it around, taking some parsley as well as some sweet paprika. And it makes this delicious coating on the uh, corn on the cob and you serve it and you eat it. And it's just over the top. I just loved it. I could have bought, and you can, you could buy your own aioli uh, in the supermarket. Publix carries it, garlic type aioli. And I said, ah, forget that. Uh, I don't want, I won't, I've got enough sitting on my uh, kitchen, I mean my fridge shelf that I, I don't need that. It also involves one clove of garlic and then you take a pestle and mortar kind of thing and crush it down and you add some salt and you, no, 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 I said time out. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just get myself, I've got it always here, is some uh, paste and we're going to do it that way. So let me set this up and then I'm going to come back and show you how we make the aioli. Okay, so what I've got is basically I've taken one teaspoon of this um, uh, garlic paste here. Uh, one teaspoon equals one medium clove, so that's what I want. Instead of my pestle and mortar, I put it in this little thing and I've taken one teaspoon of some fine sea salt and I've combined it and sort of pushed on it and break the salt up the best you can, but that's ready and that'll be used in a second. I want to take an egg and I just want the yolk of an egg here. So let's see if I can do this without making myself look like an idiot on camera. There we go, it's coming. <laughs> there it is. Okay, and I put that in here. All right, and then I'm going to take one teaspoon with that of uh, Dijon mustard. And I've got a little bit more of a Cajun brown mustard here. And we're gonna put it in here. Come on. My folks should be here any minute, I'll bet you. And all I'm going to do is make sure that that is well blended together. Just like that, really good. All I'm going to do now is I've got three quarters of a cup of virgin olive oil, 
and I'm going to slowly, not all at once, but slowly add in my olive oil. I just put a little bit in at a time and I keep blending it. I want this to get nice, smooth, and creamy. There it is, some more. It takes a while. Yeah, it does. And what I've done now is I've gotten the extra virgin olive oil all incorporated in my egg and mustard mixture and you just really have to stir vigorously. You want it smooth and you want it thick and it is thick. Now, in addition to this, I'm going to add one tablespoon of lemon juice and I've got my lemon juice. I didn't have any lemons in the fridge or else I would have used that, but there's one tablespoon. And I'm going to also incorporate into this is that salt garlic mixture and by the way in the store most of the aioli yeah that you see is a, a garlic type base of, of um, taste and all that and that's gonna go in there gotta be a little careful I don't want to splash things around here too much and the very last thing I'm gonna put in here is about two tablespoons of nice chopped and I've got it fresh off my garden parsley and what you want to do is taste for salt. You can also add, in fact I will, is add a little bit of pepper and taste for that, those two things. But this needs to be really nicely incorporated. Ooh, I'm looking forward to this. I, I love corn on the cob, of course, having been in Nebraska for as many years as we were. Fresh corn, I mean, you get it every morning. They come in from uh, the uh, farms. They set up all different gas stations all around town. And you, you end up finding your favorite place and Oh, you go and buy yourself some fresh corn at least a couple times a week. It's so very good. And actually, I'll even keep some of this too, put on the corn just before I serve it as well. So here, let's take this, do this, there we go. We'll keep this back a little bit. Let me just chop this down. I'm hoping they like it. I hope the folks like this. And but it's not hot. It, I'm, I'm using a sweet paprika and nothing hot about it. And uh, it's not got any kind of, it, you know, even though it says Caribbean, it, it's not... Um, spicy. Spicy. Yes, that's the way. Yeah. That's about two tablespoons. That's going to be just great. But this is a neat, different way to do corn on the cob. Yeah. I know I tasted yours. It was so Oh, good. it was so good. I couldn't believe it. Here, look at that. There we go. So that's that. It's all nicely incorporated. It's almost like making your own butter with oil. It really it's is, is really what it is. Like butter. your own, almost like your own mayonnaise, really. Is yeah, what right. it is, yeah. Yeah, let me just do this. Just taste for um uh... mm. salt is fine. Put some pepper in. My uh alarm just went off. My roast is done. I'm gonna pull that out. So you won't have to salt your corn. Well, nope, you won't have to salt your corn. Sea salt, to me, I don't use it that much, but it is saltier. It's saltier, yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, that's done. I'm going to pull my roast out, uh, put that up on the stove, just let it sit covered for a little bit, make sure my, uh, my potatoes and carrots are cooked good in there. And then I'm going to put this in, uh, corn in at 350. Oh, and I made homemade yeast rolls. Yeah. I'm just a good, 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 good son. And I'm, I'm going to cook these up for about 20 minutes as well in the same oven. And then for dessert, I'm making a brown butter peach cobbler. Whew, so good. Fresh peaches. I took a slice of one of the peaches last night, gave it to Susan and myself. I couldn't believe how sweet it was. I mean, just over the top sweet. Must so, be Georgia peaches. Good old Georgia peaches coming in now. Hey, by the way, how my yeast rolls here. Just a little, uh, one egg and two tablespoons of milk. Mix that all up real good and brush it on your rolls and it makes them nice and brown on top. Then later on when I pull the rolls out, I'm going to put some um, butter on it. I may put some herb type butter. I do know on one of the butters, in fact I pulled it out, I've got some um, from Golden Steer. I've still got some leftover holiday butter that they had which is sweet. And I think what I'm going to do to oh, is put on half of these rolls mm -hmm. a nice sweet topping of that butter. Uh, spoon that on, not spoon it, but brush it on 
Oh, that will be good. Now these go in again for about 25, 30 minutes, along with the corn. It's on one side, it'll all cook good. Yeah, and if you're interested at all in those Golden Steer seasonings and butters, oh yeah, there is a link, link in the down description below. box. Yeah, absolutely. I tell you, I, I live by those things. I even salted my roast with the Golden Steer Sergio seasoning, which I, I just use all the time. I love it. So that's all getting cooked. Everything's gonna be done. We're gonna get this thing soon where we'll be plating it up. I'll show you how we coat the corn on the cob with that aioli and, oh, by the way, and then get yourself some uh, Parmesan cheese uh, because that's what we're going to use on top and along with the paprika. So uh, I, I know I got my Parmesan in here somewhere, uh, but anyhow, it, I'm going to find it. Hello? And I'm gonna uh, <laughs> put it all together. See you in a little bit. Okay, look at, in my 13 by nine here, I did two sticks of unsalted butter. I heated it for about five to seven minutes until it got brown. You're separating the fats and all that. It's yeah. just very, very good. I had already prepared about 20 minutes ago, my peaches. I took a couple of them, I, I peeled them, and then the rest just left the thing on. Now this is sort of backwards in your thinking, but here's what we do. We are going to take our batter, which is two cups of flour, one and three quarter cup of uh, sugar, tablespoon of uh, baking powder, uh, two cups of milk, and one tablespoon of vanilla. And we're going to put this in here and we're going to swirl it around. And you're wanting that butter, and we're going to do this here. You're going to see how that butter just sort of swirls and does its thing all the way around with that batter. Oh, that is so good. Get all the good parts out of there. The butter's the best part the of the butter's cobbler. the best part of the cobbler anyhow. Okay, so that batter is in there in that butter. And now all we're going to do is put our peaches on top all the way around. I did about five or six peaches and they're just so wonderful sweet. This has, let me see, two tablespoons of brown sugar, a quarter cup of granulated white sugar, about a quarter cup of nutmeg as I put in. It calls for mace, which is nothing more than the, the shell of nutmeg, but um, a raw nut, you know, a whole nutmeg. I'm just putting that juice in there. It can all cook. This is going to go into my 375 degree oven for about an hour and everybody's gonna get happy after this. I am going to, just for safety's sake, I don't think I'll need it, but I am gonna put my large uh, sheet pan on the side. I don't wanna have to clean another. Now let me just show you what we're gonna do with the corn. I've had the corn cooling down, but it's still really warm, and my folks are just minutes away. Oh yeah. You're going to take about two tablespoons of this aioli and you're going to put it all over that corn, just like this. It's gotta be a better way. I probably should use my brush. Brush, yeah. Okay, here. Okay, it that's does. got that sweet stuff on oh, it. Oh, I thought Wash it, had it off. Aioli yeah. on it. <laughs> no, it doesn't, mm -mm. Well, that would be. That would be very interesting, yes. I want you to see how this is done, and it's all ready, and then what we do is we sprinkle on paprika all over it and then we put on some parmesan cheese all over it see the paprika makes you think it's gonna be spicy yeah it, and it just isn't mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, it's like a corn dog at the it. county fair you probably roll it in the cheese you might be able to I hadn't thought of that that's a very good idea actually <laughs> a little bit just in the serving way that is how it's going to plate up just exactly like that and i'm going to do the other four of them and we're going to be ready to eat oh does that ever look good yeah, some of these. yeah. trust me to do something oh yeah do that would be great if you would okay Absolutely. I want to tell these people something. What's that? You got up at seven o'clock this morning. I did. Yes. I did. On you, a Sunday. On a Sunday. And you got all this stuff put together. Yep. 
and I kept thinking, wow, I used to do all that. Yeah. And now all I did is have a cup of tea mm -hmm. and make myself some breakfast and watch him. Mm -hmm. I just watched him. That's all you did. That's all I you did. Get me a cup of uh, a cup of coffee. I had to get my No, I made him even get his own coffee. So I mean, like Father's my day to me. Well, like my father always said, you're not my father. There you go. Yes. But let it be known, it's now uh, 1.14 in the afternoon on Sunday Father's Day here. Yes. And I've yet to hear from my children, my God. Well, you're taking care of your father. The father comes first. Yeah, but who's taking care of me? I mean, you make Well, me. I'm saying you're taking care of your father. We're the sandwich generation. Oh. Well, he's got a big dinner. Oh, uh, it's all ready to go. I'll it's say, on, I'll send pictures. It's on the table, my goodness. Plus peach cobbler. Oh man! Nice, nice. Roast the meat, Jerry. Roast beef, corn on the nice. corn on the cob, and a plate of big vegetables. And homemade rolls. Homemade rolls, my goodness. Oh, nice. We're nice. eating. We're eating big time today, Ron. Okay, here we are. They're here. The folks are here. I just plated everything up. My homemade rolls. Uh, just another plate of uh, or dish of uh, potatoes, carrots, and onion here, along with around the roast. That's the pot roast. And then there you have my Caribbean uh, corn on the cob. Yes, and it's not that, spicy. It's not spicy. It's not hot. Uh -uh, it's not no, hot. No. It's actually got a little sweetness to it, salt sweet kind of thing going on. So it's very yes. good. And then in the oven uh, still cooking is peach copper. So happy Father's Day to you. Thank you. Happy Father's Day to me. <laughs> Jerry, thank Father's God you have a son who actually cares. That's all I can <laughs> say. Jerry asked me what I would like for dinner. He was going to fix my my favorite. And you know, I thought about it and roast beef hit me just right. And that's what he made. Yeah. And oh, does God. it look Good. No. You are very and welcome. I'll tell the boys all about it. Yeah, you just let them know who <laughs> your favorite is. <laughs> yeah, favorite. You're the favorite. The favorite. I am all yes. the time. I don't even know that those other two ever get to be in the status of favorite. Oh, my, my. You just remember me when you come into your kingdom. <laughs> Do you like it? Oh, it's good. Mm -hmm. Is it good? That is so good, that butter in there. Mm. Mm. Did you make the cake for the time? Mm -hmm. Yes, he did the whole thing, Mother. That's a good old southern peach combo <laughs> right there. That's exceptional.